to pay them back for what they they gave to us. You know, that's you can't put a measure on it in, in any way. Not all veterans who've come home from war have a place to call home. At a Veterans Day ceremony at the Vietnam Veterans Memorial in Holmdale, New Jersey Lieutenant Governor Tahisha Way unveiled the state's new mission to effectively defeat veteran homelessness. It is important that those who sacrifice so much for their fellow Americans never go without secure and stable shelter. The state calls it the Bringing Veterans Home Initiative. It already has 30 million federal and state dollars earmarked in the state's fiscal year 2025 budget. The state says it'll place more than a thousand of New Jersey's homeless vets in stable housing over the next two years. Starting early next year, veterans experiencing homelessness can apply online, by phone, or by visiting any housing provider affiliated with the VA. The state also says it'll be forming outreach teams to seek out veterans who may be living in homeless encampments or otherwise don't have access to a computer. It's taken a heck of a long time for the government to realize what its responsibility was. According to the state, there are nearly 1,200 homeless veterans in New Jersey. Vietnam veteran Alan Rothman says he would have liked to see something like this happen sooner. If they can count them, why can't they house them? Mark Crabtree, a veteran advocate in motorcycle club Rolling Thunder, feels the same way. Our veterans should be the number one concern in every community that we have. They fought for this country. They signed on the dotted line when many of us would not do the same. Vietnam veteran Rich McGovern thinks it will be a daunting task for the state, but any cause that helps his fellow vets is worth it. It's terrible. There are a lot of people out there that are homeless, but the veterans have got certain benefits and a uh, safety net. It should be made available to him. In Homedale, Jim Vassell, Pix 11 News.